Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Brett Pontecorvo at mainstage to ableton.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to make a really simple scrolling patch list in Ableton Live. Mainstage does this, but what's really nice about Ableton is that it allows you to actually refire the same instruments. So it's going to save you on CPU, and I actually think after you know how to do it, it's even faster to set this up in Ableton than it is in Mainstage. So let's take a look at how to do that now. scrollable functionality inside Ableton Live the same way we do it in main stage. Um, this is super exciting. This part gets me excited. Um, so if you haven't checked out our previous videos, you need to make sure you check out the fourth video on instrument racks because that details how to use dummy clips to switch between your sounds. Um, and now what I'm going to talk about here is how to scroll through your sounds in order. Um, Mainstage makes this super easy, Ableton makes it just as easy, we just need to think about how we want it to work. Um, so step one is going to be to load up your instrument rack with a ton of sounds, or the sounds that matter to you, separate your chains, and create dummy clips. If you need help with step one, check out this video here. If you don't need help with step one, here we are, ready for step two. Step two has to do with mapping your up button, your down button, and your fire button. Um, Ableton is set up to be super spontaneous, and main stage is set up to just work in order, firing your patches. Um, so Ableton has an up button, a down button, and a play button, or a fire button, and main stage only has an up button and a down button. What I mean by that is this. If I fire my warm organ dummy clip, I've got the warm organ sound. Now I can select my string sound, without playing it and nothing happens, nothing changes. Um, but if I fire it, I get a different sound. Cool? So we have to think about that as we move on to our next step, which is MIDI map your up, down, and fire buttons. You can do that by navigating over here to the MIDI button, and our up, down, and fire live over here. Um, so you can go ahead and map whatever buttons work for you. Um, I'm using push to in user mode, but you can use any controller that you have. And Ableton also allows you to use buttons on your keyboard if that's what you're working with. So learn to use what you have, because it will serve you well if you know how to use it. Um, so now I have a, an up button like this. I've got a down button and I've got a play button. And that's brilliant, isn't it? Now check this out. When I hit play, it plays the clip that's selected. So I'm going to hit play now and ePiano is going to play. But you'll notice that the gentle piano pad is selected. And when I fire the gentle piano pad, automatically selects strings. Um, so step three is make sure that setting is existing in Ableton's preferences. So navigate up here to Live, Preferences. And then under the Record war Warp Launch tab, um, you need to make sure that Select Next Scene on Launch is on. Um, if it is on, you have that scrolling feature. Step four, put your sounds in order. So when I'm making a patch list, I always start by making all of my dummy clips and then actually setting up my set is really easy because I can just drag my dummy clips down in order. So um, maybe my first sound is warm organ. I can click war warm organ and if you hold down option you can drag warm organ here and then maybe strings is next. Maybe gentle piano is next. Then e piano. Then maybe you go back to gentle pad. Then maybe strings. Um, are you guys seeing how fast this is? It's absolutely brilliant. So now let's check this out. I want um, I want to start playing, so warm organ happens. I'm playing my my organ, and then all of a sudden, now I'm to strings. This is a beautiful thing, guys. 
Switching to Ableton can be really overwhelming, and that's why I've just created an ebook called The Fast Track Patchless Guide to help you get started on the right foot. So head over to mainstagetoableton.com forward slash go to get your free copy today. And to stay up to date with all of our latest blog posts, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here.